Vice President Pence, in 2017, the Trump-Pence administration canceled DACA, which put the legal status of 600,000 DREAMers in the hands of the courts. DREAMers work, and they pay taxes. As president, if the Supreme Court ends DACA, would you work with Congress to reach a permanent solution for DREAMers? Well, first, let me say I'm glad, I'm glad Vivek uh, pulled out of his business deal in 2018 in China. That must have been about the time you decided to start voting in presidential elections. So okay. we're Thank nice you. to I'm have you participating in, in elections. So <laughs> let, me, let me speak to this issue. Number one, um, I negotiated the Remain in Mexico gonna, policy with, yeah. the, with the Mexican government. Uh, we used economic power to bring the Mexican government to the table. Uh, we built hundreds of miles of border wall. And despite what's said here today, uh, we reduced illegal immigration and asylum abuse by 90 percent. And as President of the United States, I can do it again. And the, Sorry, truth is, we, the truth is we need to fix a broken immigration system, and I'll do that as well. But first and foremost, a nation without borders is not a nation. And we have to secure the southern border of the United States of America. I know how to do it, and we will do it again. Let me say one other thing about China. Vice Let me say one other thing about China. Would you negotiate with Congress to give a solution to the problem that dreamers have right now? They are on a limbo. Well, let me tell you, I, I served in Congress for 12 years, although it seemed longer. <laughs> but, you know, something I've done different than everybody on this stage is I've actually, I've actually secured reform in Congress. You know, you know, Ron, you talk a really good game about cutting spending, but you've increased you spending in Florida spend. by 30 percent. When I was a member of Congress in 2006, right after Hurricane Katrina, Dana, you remember it, we stood our ground. I led House conservatives. We cut $100 billion out of the federal budget. It can be done, but as I said in the last debate, I'll say again, this is no time for on-the-job training. I'm going to be ready on day one to get Congress to step up, secure the southern border of the United States, build a military fitted to our times, and we're going to get spending in Washington, D.C. under control. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis, you will not get it anywhere else.